The national grid is the highway of the electricity supply system. Electricity is transmitted along 15,000 kilometers of power lines from the large producers to the local grids. In Sweden, as in the rest of the world, the national grids are almost exclusively made up of overhead lines. This technology is simple, reliable and economical. It is only special technical requirements that justify the use of underground cables. It takes several years to plan a power line in the national grid. There are environmental studies, permits and consultation with authorities and landowners. When the route has been determined, it is surveyed in the field. And before building begins, the right to use the land is secured and trees are cut down. Finally, building can begin. Bredden på arbetsområdet brukar vara mellan 10 och 15 meter, berättar ibland mer. Den plats som behöver för kabeldike, arbetsfordon och för materialupplägg. Ibland måste vi även anlägga tillfälliga vägar för att kunna ta oss fram och köra kabeltrummen. Ibland när man schaktar så stöter man på berg, då måste man spränga. The number of cables determines the width of the cable trench, which varies between 2.5 and, and 5 meters. Sometimes a wider opening is required. The distance between the ground and the top cable is at least 0.9 meters. På en kabeltrumma av den här storleken så ryms det mellan 700 och 1100 meter kabel. Vanligtvis får 900 meter kabel plats på en kabeltrumma. Den får inte vara för stor när man ska transportera den så att den kommer under viadukter och broar. The working area is usually the length of two cable drums, approximately 1800 meters. The drums are moved to the cable trench and the cables are extended, one drum in each direction. Before installation of the cables, the cable trench is filled with special thermal sand. At least six parallel cables are required for a normal connection in the national grid. Optical fiber cables for telecommunication are put in the trench next to the cables. There are many cable joints before the power connection is complete. Splicing a cable is a complicated task that requires especially trained experts. In order to make sure that the work is done in a clean and controlled environment, a tent or a container is used. Eller att vara riktigt noggrann när man skarvar en kabel. Annars håller inte skarven när spänningen slås på. Det tar normalt 2 till 4 dagar för att göra en skarv. When the cables have been installed and joined, the cable trench is filled. Next to the cables, thermal sand is used for protection and to divert heat from the cables. Then the cable trench is filled with the appropriate soil. In farmland, the subsoil and soil is returned in its original order. 30 centimeters underground, or deeper for farmland, a cable warning net is used to prevent accidental damage to the cables. Most of the vegetation returns, but the root is still visible. The cables must be accessible. Large trees and bushes are removed, but no buildings are allowed near the cable trench. Planting trees is not permitted, but farming is allowed. Svenska Kraftnet continues to extend the national grid. Underground cables are only used on special occasions. The goal is always a reliable national grid.